You coming in? Come on in. Into the hole. Into the hole. Go on. Into the hole. Don't be scared. Ah, oh, he's scared. Come on, it's safe. Yes, you want to go in. Yes, you do. You want to go in. Hello everyone, I am Moobit, this uh, welcome back to the MC Aegis server. It is episode 8, and you find me inside our lovely ship in a bottle, um, looking rather fancy in my new iron armour. Hopefully I'll get some, some diamonds soon, but as you can see, off camera I've been resource gathering, getting plenty of nether quartz and some saddles. As you can see I've been in the nether, so I've managed to get some bones and stuff from trying to get... Uh, with a skeleton hood, um, head, blaze powder and all that lovely stuff. Um, but it's mostly the quartz that I was after. And I'll show you. Obviously, we've got some chests for uh, doing shopping and things. But you're probably wondering where the saddles came from. And that's in this chest here. Ta-da! So, yes, I was over in the mining world. And I stumbled across, just purely by accident, an unraided uh, underground mine. And that is the result. Huzzah! I'll be selling those in uh, Valhalla when it opens, don't you worry about that. Um, but yeah, we're going to go back up to Valhalla now. We're going to gather up this Never Quartz because we're going to make ourselves a Mjolnir. Let's go! And here we go. We have just made a short hop across the water from my base over to Valhalla and into our very temporary <laughs> entrance just here. Wee! And they, here we go. So. We are in, and we've started on Mjolnir, as you can see here. Um, but I want to replace um, the bird poop for uh, some some quartz, I think, because it might look a bit better. And as you can see, the glass there is going down the back. That is going to be several layers of white glass to make it look like clouds above your head. But first, obviously, we've got to get some quartz blocks and finish off Mjolnir here. Um, and we've got Odin, as you saw in the last episode, and uh, I can't get up here, can I? Uh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> didn't think that through. Um, I think I've got some soil in here somewhere. Yeah, that'll do. So, as I said before I was rudely interrupted by gravity, uh, <laughs> we're going to sort of pillar our way around here somehow. Uh, maybe there? Yeah, okay, we'll go there. And then uh, pull away around and replace some of this bird poop with some quartz blocks because I think it'll look better. Um, and once we've finished that, we can get the rest of the glass in and get the rest of the chests in and officially declare Valhalla open for business. And then if, if there's time, I think our next job will be to make a, uh, a never based ice road from the mall. All the way out here to Everwinter, so anyone who wants to visit Everwinter, they can. But of course, they're going to come out right at the entrance of Valhalla because, you know, I'm a businessman now. So, you know, might as well see if we can make some sales that way too. So, yeah, okay, next progress update in the future. Okay, that's that job done. And now I've actually gone down and had a look at it. And I'm not sure I like the fact that Mjolnir here is. Kind of floating. So what I'm building here, as you'll see when I get myself back down here, is basically like a, a, a metal, imagine a metal or a, or a pillar ring, like a marble ring for it to be holding on to. So there you go. That's holding up Mjolnir out there. I think that looks a lot better, actually, in my humble opinion. The funny thing is, once I get this glass in, you're not going to see half of this in massive detail because uh, the glass will create a fog effect. But, uh, you know... I'll know it's there, and that's what's important. So yeah, we'll do that. Um, get the glass in. And I might put another Mjolnir or a sword or something on the other side. I haven't quite decided yet, but uh, back in a sec. And in today's time-lapse chat, I want to talk to you guys about inspiration. Um, as you, some of you will know, I am a cinematographer or aspiring cinematographer you like because I had to take a few years off because of the illness I talked about in the last episode. Um, and you might have seen uh, my latest cinematic vlog is about how Rory, my, my assistant's dog, inspired me to get better, get the help I needed properly and, and start chasing my dreams of, of doing cinematography full time instead of just doing it at the weekends and things like I was before. And 
on top of the Rory side of things, uh, along that journey, I've, I've met a, quite a lot of new friends, as you might have seen on that vlog there. You know, I alluded to it very quickly. Uh, I met Team Reflector, as we are now known, uh, Dean and, uh, and Nick, who have really inspired me and, and, and drove me forward and have been really supportive with, with me trying to work around my, my own sort of mental illness and everything, because I, I get tired quite easily. Um, they've inspired me to, to learn more sort of technical aspects of the camera side of things. Um, I've, you know, learned to be an expert in gimbals. That's what I, I like. I'm a drone flyer, so I've got a lot of drone license. So uh, I had to learn a lot about that when I was doing that. And um, it's it's incredible, really, about that so so many people and so many facets in life can inspire you in such a in such a profound way i mean that rory video if you've seen it it's it's linked it's up in the corner and linked below if you want to see it um i was just looking for some music for a future filming project that i can't really say too much about but at the moment but um i was looking for some music for that um and i'm, I'm part of a one of these online you know uh royalty free music kind of services and I stumbled across the music that I used in the Rory the Staffy video um, and I was listening to it and it just immediately spoke to me. The, the, the way the lyrics just told the story that I had in my, I suddenly had in my head. Um, I saw the sad, it kind of started off sort of upbeat and then went kind of sad and then went upbeat at the end. I, I immediately saw the story structure of that, of the free, the free act structure, the showing the happy dog and then showing him being covered in scars and scabs and no fur and then you know the split screen with me going through a similar thing sort of inside my own head if you will at the same time and us both healing over time and then obviously now Rory's happy and he's running around and being a little scamp um, and I'm pretty much doing the same to an extent of course but yeah and it just I just saw everything inside my head and I, I, I just thought is it the same for you guys? Some of you are out there YouTube creators. Some of you are like to write stories. All of us who are watching this most likely like to play Minecraft. So what inspires you? What gives you the ideas for the stuff that you build? What? Are you a redstoner? Are you a builder like Grian, for example? Are you a redstoner like Mumbo, if you want to sort of use the Hermitcraft sort of analogy? And how do you get your ideas? Is it a case of seeing other, other builds and... You start maybe copying it and then it turns into something else and into something else. Or is it the terrain that helps you? I'd be really interested to, to know because um, I'm no builder. I'm more of a redstoner. But I'm learning, as, I, as you can see on Valhalla here, I'm trying to, you know, make my stuff pretty. Um, and, it, and it's a hard slog, but I'm working on it, you know. And I've been inspired by people like um, uh, Irina Miluel on, on, on our own server. She is a fantastic builder. And so I've been... You know, following her around and looking at her builds and seeing how she does things, and you know that's that's inspired me to do crazy projects for you guys on YouTube. So, yeah, let me know in the comments below or in, in Facebook or over on the uh, MC Ages Discord, and we'll start that chat going. And let's get back on to the MC Ages server. Okay, and most of the build is near enough complete, save for a few little finishing touches. And as you can see, I have gone to Slash Warp Mall on the MC Ages server, which is basically like Meadow Hall or a big American mall kind of a thing. I hear rumours on the grapevine it's going to be ex expanded, but shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> well, if you go there, you'll see what I mean. Uh, but yeah, I'm currently just having a gander, because I've got some... I'm I want to sell, like, never stuff and, and spooky stuff on one side of the shop. So I'm thinking, you know, spider webs and uh, pumpkins and things like that. As well as things like strings and bones and stuff. And obviously, these, this, like this shop here, sells the horse armor, which I showed you earlier. So the idea is, what you, what you should do if you're going to set up a shop in real life or in Minecraft, is do your research, go around all the other shops... See roughly what people are selling things for and, and kind of decide whether you want to try and beat that or... Oh, okay. They have seem to have run out of stuff, but hey, the prices are still there. Yeah. But yeah, you kind of compare it. I've got a little notepad here. I'm writing down the prices of things as I see it. And then if I see some kind of median or some kind of average of, of the... Um, of the prices that are in the mall for the same item, then that's what I'll charge in Valhalla. 
I think the fact that you have a little experience there and a little bit of fun getting into the shop and stuff, um, that's worth, a, you know, maybe a pound or two more than some of the other shops just because, you know, you just go in and buy. Um, but I, so I'll probably try that business model first. And, you know, I mean, these sell saddles for a thousand, which seems a lot, but maybe they're in high demand. I'm not sure. I don't know. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that and, and I'll see how they go. And then I'll just adjust prices up and down depending on what's popular and all that. And, and so I'll get a sort of happy medium. I don't want to make loads of money from this shop because I want it to be part of the community experience. That's what I'm on here to do, you know, and make, make it fun for everyone. Like here, they've got bones 15 each. I don't know if that's too much. Um, string, fair enough, that's quite rare. They've got coloured blocks up here, which I don't have any of yet, but that can easily be made. Uh, what else have we got in here? Prismarine blocks. Now, they're expensive in the mall, but then, to me, they shouldn't be expensive in our shop because we have a huge Guardian farm, so it's not like that they're worth a lot to us Everwinter residents. But, you know, I don't know. I, I might talk to Irina and the, some of the other ones, like Classic Jordan, and see, see what they think. But, yeah, let me finish doing my research here, and we'll get back to Valhalla and set up the chests. All right, and we are back. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the chest system. <laughs> I'm quite a noob at this. I'll put the, the decorative uh, Neverwalk farm up above. Um, may leave it in, may not. At the moment, I'm just setting up the chest. So I've got Neverwalk. We've got the blocks. I, that's pretty much what people are charging. But obviously, the blocks, that remember, have got nine each. So nine times 15, you know, you get the idea. Um, now I need some, where are we? Do, 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 do. Soul sand, here we go. So this is kind of the never section or the never building section. And we put that into the chat. Here we go. So there, there's your soul sand. Um, dropped in quite lucky with the soul sand I found when I found a fortress and I know there's um, soul sand mountains in the never somewhere but I've not found one yet so that'll do for that bit oh but good to get these ladders out but yeah you get the general idea with this um I think we'll move on and show you the, the horse armor that I'm going to do in a second so here we go And the horse armor and quartz blocks and things are actually underneath Odin's statue. I thought this could be like the, the premium area of the shop, if you will, where all the expensive stuff's kind of sold. Um, we'll probably start with like rails and quartz blocks and diamond horse armor and stuff like that. So it's like kind of the premium, if you will. So I've got chests on either side there, or at least I'll put them down in a minute. Um, and then those three are going to be for the... You know, you come in here and you've got the chet, the diamond horse stuff there and then the, the chest either side for the other stuff. So we'll grab some of that. But um and chuck it in here. So as you can see that there's your iron, your gold, and now we've got our diamond horse armor. And what you do is you tap it and you put the number in and it doesn't appear. Well, it's appearing on the menu, but it's not appearing there. That's weird. Huh. Okay, I might have to break that and start again. Eee, don't fall into the lava. Uh, try again. Yeah, it's probably that chest on my right, so I'm going to have to figure out a different way of doing that. But okay, we'll put them in there for now. Um, and we'll just have to, yeah, we'll, I'll put another chest over there. And then that'll be the shop ready for trading, I think. Yep, all sorted. All the chests are in. So the only thing to do now, once I get this up, is make a sign. Da -da! And um, I'll also put that away. Put that away. This is my personal chest in here. No one else can open that. Well, not yet, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right, right. And out we go. Whee! This is the exit. And as you can see on the carpet there, I've made a little tips jar. So if anyone enjoyed the experience, they come into there. They come up and I would see a little sign here hinting that, uh, you know, the, the, give me some free stuff for, for giving you an awesome experience. <laughs> Seems to be the way on the server, so, you know, we'll give it a go. Um, so let's put that in.
Donations on the carpet. Gratefully. Boop. There we go. So hopefully that'll, um, you know, make people be, be generous. Maybe not. Who cares? Like I say, it's more for the fun. But, uh, yeah, um, that is Valhalla. I'm going to see if I can get any of the... Uh, the townsfolk to come and have a gander at the place first um, and do some sort of obviously got to get rid of this entrance here but we'll do some uh, final prep and put some more glass in and see what people think so uh, let's see if I can find anyone and the Valhalla shopping experience is now open at Everwinter journey into hell itself etc etc <laughs> okay well Irina's here our illustrious mayor to cut the ribbon on the shop, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Uh, I think she's talking to uh, someone in the chat. And she's also going to sort, sort me out some ink sacks so I can finish off the glass in the floor, which is very kind of her. Thank you, Varina. Now, uh, people are starting to get excited and arrive. Ah, speaking of, hi! You coming in? Come on in. Into the hole. Into the hole. Go on, into the hole. Don't be scared. Aw, oh, he's scared. Come on, it's safe. Yes, you want to go in. Yes, you do. You want to go in. In you go. Yay, he's in. <laughs> what a dude. <laughs> Let's type him. Hang on, I love whoever pretended. Oh, actor to be scared <laughs> that was brilliant what a dude i've got a blaze rank members just come out of the shop there we're just on the left um off the go oi did you like it come on oh no 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 you don't no i'm not giving you my sword oh you're going back to your house okay fair enough right let's see what that dude's coming it looks like irene is uh doing something so we'll go down do 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 here's the spikes of hell coming to swallow you up dum 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 i'll tell you what it'd be awesome if i could apply some like spooky music as you're coming down here here we are always oh, too scared to go in yeah i'll come with you come on i'll come with you come on come on i'll show you this is the fire one this is the easy room Wee! Through the fire through the flames do 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 and then you go into this one Ooh, up, up. And here's the corridor, and into the shop. Boop! There we are, and uh, we've got... Is that Snot Muffin? Yeah, it's Snot Muffin, all right, dude. Looks like... Hiya! I think he might be talking in a chat somewhere. <laughs> mean Gaming's gone, gone through. They've survived. Hooray! <laughs> yeah, I would I would teleport to you, Irene, but I'm a noob. I don't know what the blooming command is. All right, let me see if she's still up here. Oh, oh no, she's gone. Ah. Uh, okay, right, I'm going to have to uh, get Irina to show me what the command is. Oh, it's up there. Oh, okay, so you're typing. Right, okay, let me see. Let me uh, sort out the Irina thing and I'll be right back. Mrs. Mayor, hello. Right, uh, apparently you've got some ink sacks for me. Ooh. Ooh, yay. Yeah, so, okay, I, I bought some of these a bit cheaper before, um, and, and the price has gone up, and I think it's because I bought them all at once. So what do you say, Mrs. Mayo? Have we got a deal? Are you going to allow it for me? Come on, I need so much glass, please. Go on. Go on. Yes. 50. That'll do. Boof. Pleasure doing business with you, my dear. <laughs> See you in a moment. Right, now that's done. Now to give a decent uh, tour of this place. Uh, the initial hype sort of died down and people are going off and doing their own thing. So we'll go down here, as you saw. You go down this bubble sucker vator thing and you see the, the doggy heads of doom. <laughs> and it's all fire all around and it's beautiful and we like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's time to choose your fates. You've got the Room of Fire, you've got the Room of Battle, and you've got the Room of Ice. Oh, I like this. Uh, so, so it says here, choose your trial to journey onward into Valhalla. And there's your Trial of Fire, Trial of Combat, that's what I called it, and the Trial of Ice. 
So let's go down the Trial of Fire. You've seen this as we've been building. And you go into here, and it's a fire room. You can't get hurt, you just have to walk straight across the glass. And it looks even better now you've got um, um, the plug-in that takes all the texture out of the glass. I think it looks great like that. There is no turning back, only forwards. Your trials are complete. Onward to Valhalla! Boop. And you're into the shop, and they are. That's all the finished smoky glass on the roof there. Thank you, Irina, and uh, on the floor as well. And we put a sword in where instead of m another mule near on this side. And then you've got over here some never stuff. We've got our never rack and never wart. And then we've got ice because obviously we're in an ice biome, so we might as well sell ice. If people want to build with it. And you've got your string and everything, and then under the statue of Odin, we have got our horse armor, our saddles, our rails, and our quartz. And it was the fact that the, the sign, it said, exit, step into the light, Odin be with you, both on the same side. So it's pretty obvious you, you come up here to get out, and then you've got your tips jar right here. But yeah, with the, previously when I had that problem with the sign with the diamond horse armor, it was just the case of the, the, the chests were clashing. So uh, just moving the chests fix that straight away. And then you've got our victorious viking at the top here. Let's show you the other rooms. So, back down we go. There we go. And you're greeted by the Hellhounds of Doom. Now what should we do? Let's do the Trial of Combat. So you make your way into the mouth of the uh, Demon Head. Whoop! Doing, and you've got various warriors adorning the walls. So they don't have to physically fight. I think people were getting freaked out that they'd have to fight and they didn't bring any gear with them, but no, nothing like that. Just cool statues and a guy raising his sword. And then this is the Bulvervator we came down. You can go up either side. So we'll go up this one, which is the same as the fire, if I remember rightly. There is no turning back, see? And back into the Water Vator. And into the shop, just the same as we were before. And the only one to do now, of course, is to go back up and show you the Trial of Ice. Which, of course, is here. And you go into the demon dog's mouth, and it kind of ferries you round. And boof! And you're into an ice cave, or kind of an ice cave. Yes, fair enough, it's got straight walls, but I'm no builder, so, you know, whatever. And again, through here, into the water vator. There is no turning back, turn and face your destiny, blah, blah, blah. That's the other water vator for the uh, trial of combat. Your trials are over, step in, and boop, and you're in the shop. And that is Valhalla fully completed and ready to go. I'm really proud of this. This is probably the best thing I've ever built, if I say so myself. Probably not the best thing you've built, but hey, it's good for me. And as we spin round our, our Viking warrior here, uh, all's left to say is we'll see you at the next episode. This has been MC Ages. I have been Moobit, and I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you next week. Ta-ra! <laughs>